Hello Capricorn, welcome back to Peony Lore, where we help you to find the beauty in all things. This is going to be uh, your reading for the week of the 5th of September through the 11th, all sun, moon, rising, wherever else you have Capricorn very heavy in your chart. Um, we got a lot going on. Five planets are still in retrograde. We have a sixth one going into retrograde. That's Mercury this upcoming week. And so we are taking this step by step here while Mercury is in retrograde pretty much the entire month of September um, and <clears throat> the shadow period for the first uh, little bit of time in October as well. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Um, you are very heavy in the very beginning placement of this week uh, because of the moon being in um, your portion of the sign. Um, but the other thing that would have affected you, and I'm sure we're going to have this conversation, is the fact that um, Saturn, <laughs> uh, being in its retrograde form, has really created a challenge for a lot of people when it came, uh, especially Capricorns, when it comes to their stability. Um, and, uh, you know, there's, it's either affecting you or uh, because of the other placements that you have and where you sit in the chart, whether it's begin, middle, or ending of the Capricorn sign, or you are killing it. It's going to be one of the two for you. But let's go ahead and pull energies that you are carrying in from Leo season up into this particular moment. The energy of the two of wands into the three of wands. Okay, so we are we have not yet launched. <laughs> we are waiting, we're examining, we're planning before we decide to move forward. So this reading is going to serve for those people that have been affected with um, Saturn um, being in its retrograded position. But you don't have too much longer to wait, my friends. So you're still planning. This next card that we're going to take, but it's good energy. At least I see that there's some positivity that's here and the universe is going to, is, is supporting you. Uh, but sometimes it's in, yeah, there's not always a right time. Uh, sometimes the time is now. We're going to reshuffle those. Beg your pardon. That was my fat finger getting in the way. What I was trying to say was <laughs> the uh, sacred geometry cards are here to help you release any energy that is holding you back from launching. You got the idea, you got the plan, your plan is justified, the plan is being um, blessed by the universe, but for some reason you have not stepped forward. So let's see what we can do to help you release because the time is now. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Love frequency. I think this card came out for Aries, if I'm not mistaken. It was either Aquarius or Aries, I'm pretty sure. Um, so what you're releasing yourself from what you have to let go of in order to launch to move forward is um, either uh, the energy of self-love for yourself, clearly, or uh, the love frequency that is connected to a soulmate. So I think we'll find out a little bit more energy that's in there. Of course, you always want to love yourself when it comes to creative energies. Um, but if you have a creative passion, a creative spark, and you're wanting to move forward with something, it could be that you are with someone that's maybe holding you back a little bit or you feel like this person could potentially be holding you back from something that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. So the first person that you have to do is you've got to love yourself in this situation and know that you are worthy of whatever it is that the universe is clearly agreeing with here. We have the energy of 3-3, which is talking about um, utilizing your creative energy into um, uh, in the beauty way, right? Um, the divine feminine wanting to come in here and so support you with what it is that you've got going on. So let us go, uh, go for all, uh, every card <clears throat> this week. Um, I will tie it into the astrology where it's most appropriate. We will pull a card um, at the end to talk about the most important day of the week for you and or something that you still may not know about. And then we're going to pull a card because uh, we do have the full moon that shows up here on Saturday. We're going to pull a crystal card that will help you with your full moon releases. Um, and hopefully that works for you. So let's go ahead and get into every single day of the week. Monday's energy will head here. We got the Ten of Cups energy right on Monday, Le Labor Day for most of us here in the U.S. Hopefully you get the day off <laughs> um, uh, so that you can celebrate. If you do not, um, then be aware that we have a really juicy energy, which is the uh, Venus energy. Um, 
um, entering into the sign of Virgo. That is Fat Fingers again. Now the beautiful thing about uh, Venus in um, Virgo, it is asking you to examine your relationships. What are the practical things that are taking place in your relationship versus what's not practical in your relationship? So there are some things that are going to have to be shifted um, and will at least be discussed, but it's not, a, it's not a bad energy for you. We do have the moon in the sign of Capricorn um, all of Monday and the majority of Tuesday. So this is going to be a pretty good week for you. We have two major arcana that are sitting next to each other here. Mm, not surprised about that one. Um, we do have the Eight of Pentacles on Tuesday. We have the Star on Wednesday. The Judgment card. Woo! Holy buckets! The universe wants you to launch, baby. The Judgment card on Thursday. On Friday, we have the energy of the Five of Swords. We have another major arcana. We have the Chariot card. You have had the most um, number of uh, uh, major arcanas that have popped up into this particular moment. And let's get the card for the cap here. We have two that want to come out, so we're going to go with what we have here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, full moon. And then Sunday, we have two cards, which looks like this. Oh, I like this energy. Oh my gosh. Wow. Capricorn. <laughs> wow. This is a fabulous, fabulous reading. Um, as I was saying, there has been like this failure for you to launch for whatever reason. You've got this great idea. You've got this great passionate potential and you've been waiting. And so the universe is like, you can't wait. It's very similar to the energy of Sagittarius, but not. <laughs> and like, there's something for you to do and it's time for you to get on the stick. So what the universe is trying to tell you is that um, you've been really trying to get your thoughts in order. I feel some of you have also been probably doing some money saving. Um, you've been strategizing when it comes to a partner or a partnership. Um, and for whatever reason, you just haven't, you, you haven't launched. You felt, you, you felt nervous to, to do what it is that you needed to do. Maybe feeling or someone else telling you it wasn't really the right time to get it done. And the universe is like, mm, but we're done with that now. Um, you are not completely finished with um, one particular component, potentially. Um, so you're maybe trying to wrap that up. But the universe is saying, okay, it's time to move forward. It's time for you to take your accolades. And it's time for you to accept that there is more for you to be doing. And now is the time that they're going to start to get your attention about trying to make that decision. You not making this, you not making the decision to move forward is um, a very strange one because the universe is saying to you, we don't necessarily agree with that. You now is the time for you to start moving forward, and so this is what we're into again. Monday's energy is the Ten of Cups moment. It's beautiful. If you felt in the past that you hadn't really wrapped up all the different things that you needed to do, the universe is saying there's a whole new way for you to contemplate what this Ten of Cups is. It's very similar to the Ten of Pentacles energy in that we finally have the things that we want to have had received so that we can go in this next new phase of all the things that are coming forward. But we are talking about joy. We're talking about good information here. So I feel that this Monday, Tuesday, for sure, for sure, for sure, with the moon in uh, Capricorn is really, really, really trying to support you again with that whole um, energy of Venus going into Virgo, practical things that need to be done within our home and or relationships or people that we're dealing with, okay, in our world. Um, on Tuesdays, we have the positive energy of the Eight of Pentacles here. And so the Eight of Pentacles is really actually just very, very succinctly coming in as the moon in um, Capricorn with a trine that takes place with that whole Taurus in Uranus energy. You have been working work very, very hard, and the universe is saying to you that work is paying off, um, but you have become more than just the apprentice. You've become the master of what it is that you've been doing at this moment, okay? And so because of that energy, when you get to the energy of Wednesday, you have the star card. So the universe is saying, you can afford to wish for more. Um, it's possible that you're dealing with an Aquarius or that this is talking about the Aquarius energy that is shifting on Wednesday. will shift from the moon 
in Capricorn to the moon in Aquarius on this particular day. But the beautiful energies that are coming out of this is where Mercury is having the conversation with Venus, or excuse me, Libra. Um, and we're having the conversation about the next practical steps that need to be taken in um, your journey. So Libra wants everything to be balanced and Mercury is talking about the expansion uh, of your ideas and the reasoning, meaning the practical way, the beauty way of trying to make something come into play. That is a huge, huge benefit that is showing up. The other thing that shows up also on this Wednesday that I do think is supporting you is the Mars energy is a little bit more assertive, uh, aggressive with the energy of Gemini, which is about your mental awareness. So there are keys and codes that are getting ready to pop off for you that you're going to be able to start to take advantage of, which the universe is going, they've been here for you the whole time. Um, so now that you're feeling comfortable, <laughs> let's get into the energy of being comfortable. I love this for you. Then the following day, you have the energy of the judgment card. So we have uh, literally the energy of Pluto uh, from the previous day. Um, kind of popping in here. Actually, I'm, uh, I am mistaken. This is not Pluto's energy on this particular day that comes in a little bit later in the week. But however, you've got the energy of judgment coming in here on this um, Thursday. And what this is that I feel is the conjunction that's taking place um, with not only the moon in Aquarius, but Saturn hitting Aquarius on this day as well. So, the moon in Aquarius talking about this expansive energy and then the energy of Saturn coming in, the things that may have slowed you down before for whatever reason, the universe is like, okay, you may not have seen this before, but now are you ready to take advantage of what we've, of what we've given you? Are, are you ready? Because we're giving you the second opportunity. Use your best judgment on this particular day to make the decisions, close the contracts, have the conversations, do whatever it is that you need to do, Capricorn, because this is going to be a brilliant brilliant day for you. Thursday is going to be an awesome, um, awesome day for you. Um, when we get to the energy of Friday, this is the actual Mercury in retrograde energy that starts to take place. Uh, first thing in the morning, you're going to wake up to it. The sign will have changed into the sign of Pisces. Um, and we do have a, a opposition that does take place with that emotional energy of the conversation that wants to come in. Um, challenging intellect a little bit with that Venus Virgo uh, position that we talked about before. You need to say what you need to be able to say on this particular day. The only caution, and you're not the only sign that's gotten this, you need to use caution in the way that you're putting forward your ideas. You need to use caution in the way that you're saying the things that need to be said next. Um, but for the most part, uh, Capricorn, this is, this is going to be a fantastic week for you. The next major arcana that pops up for you is the release energy of the full moon in Pisces on Saturday. Um, we have sister energy cancer in the form of the chariot showing up. And this is the energy of nurturing. So here's the ultimate end all be all. If you haven't been very nurturing to yourself, because there's been a lot of energy in here, again, love frequency whether it's you or someone else's idea for whatever reason you thought might have been slowing you down or challenge you in your, uh, challenging you in the way that you need to move forward, universe is saying, let that go. We are going to allow you to move forward. We're, we're supporting you with this movement forward. But if you're holding on to any residual energy against somebody else and helping you move forward, then that is what we really want you to focus on letting go here on this full moon, especially if a partner is involved in that situation. You know, the Chariot card is um, does talk about balancing emotions. It does talk about balancing energies. It does talk about balancing momentum. And it does talk about um, being in control of the flow. Even though everything is not perfect, again, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I, it's going to be very, very hard for you to see this. But this is what's popping out for me. The idea that you had may not have been 100% embraced by someone else at the time that you really wanted it to. And the universe is like, well, there's no better time to get it done. Now is a time where this other person, and again, I really feel strongly, it could be an Aquarius that's coming in here. It doesn't have to necessarily be, but I do feel that. Um, stars aligning on this day to say that you are going to have a couple of onesie twosie little things, but the universe is like, you're supposed to be doing this. This is karma. This is the universe saying, get off your duff and go get this done, Capricorn. This is very, very beautiful. So release 
any stagnant energy that you would have had up until this point. Forgive yourself, basically, if you felt like, oh, I should have done this sooner. Let that go. You're in control of the situation now. Now, when we get to Sunday, <laughs> this is so awesome, Capricorn. When we get to Sunday, two things. One, you are releasing any of these energies that you have hold on to in the past. This release for you is literally working. The uh, opposition that would have taken place between Mercury, the opposition that would have taken place also with the squared energy in, in, in Gemini, that dualistic nature, the dual energy of somebody coming in, you've released, you've dropped all of that. The shoulda, woulda, couldas, they're gone. Love it. And you are in this energy of the Queen of Cups. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't really make a difference. It is Woo! I did all that and I am ready to move forward now and I don't have to look backwards. I don't have to deal with that. I've closed all that karma and I'm ready to move forward. Um, it just, it's, it's super positive. Capricorn, this is, this is one of the better readings that I have seen up until this particular moment. This is the week where you really start to charge forward and you really understand what is coming towards you. Um, at the end of um, the these next upcoming weeks. It's it's very beautiful energy. Let's go into what else the universe thinks could be maybe another examination of a day of the week or something more important that you haven't seen at this po point. And then we will cap it off with a crystal card to be used here on this full moon, assuming you're doing the release. Whoa! There it is. So... It's, <laughs> it's this energy here of Saturday. That is the most important day of the week for you. And this is because you're going to be releasing any and old energy here in the Pisces full moon um, that is going to be supporting your movement forward, which contributes to all of the stagnant, crazy, stuck thought, mental energy. Done. We're done with it. This is probably, out of all the readings, probably one of the best readings that I have done this for. It is, it is so easy to understand that you guys are moving up very, very quickly and it's uh, very beautiful. But let's see, what crystal are they gonna suggest that would be a good one for you to release any old sensitive stuff that has to go? All right, let's see. All right, what do we have for our Capricorn? Uh, what crystal suggestion do we have for our Capricorn on this full moon in Pisces? What do we got? Ooh. Wow, this is one of my favorites. Um, you actually do have two, <laughs> um, and I like this one. The first one is one of my all-time favorite stones. It's Labradorite, okay? It's very gorgeous. It has the flashes of orange, sometimes purple, very often blue. Um, the energy of Labradorite is talking to you about um, understanding that if you were not seeing, the word is serendipity, but if you weren't seeing the universe up until this particular moment showing you the way to go, everything is being done in serendipity. Everything has been done for you in the beauty way. It might have felt weird, but if now if you haven't seen it, you'll see it now. Labradorite will help to bring you back into alignment and will get you to that serendipity feeling. And the other one that comes up, I love this one too. I've never had my own piece of this. It's called Sea Opal. And C Opal is all about the yin and the yang, baby. It's all about the 1111 energy that is out there. It is about finding um, and understanding uh, the balance between um, what has been and what is and what is coming. So if you felt out of balance, that stone could potentially help you as well. You know what it looks like? Um, I don't. Have, uh, I think the other term that people would use would be opalite. Okay, I don't, I don't think I have any, I don't think I have any opalite. I've always given it away to somebody else, so I don't have it. So see opal or opalite, if you can get your hands on it. And of course, labradorite during the full moon release of Pisces here this weekend is going to be very supportive for you. The best reading I think I've done so far. So Capricorn, congratulations. You literally are coming into a new level of love, whether it is a person, a project, a new business, moving forward, whatever it is that you want, the universe is giving it to you. Now is the time to take advantage. So congratulations, Capricorn. That is all I have for you for this week. Many blessings. Bye for now.